Good morning, lovely ladies. How are you this morning? It is wonderful to be here with you on this wonderful Tuesday morning. If my nose is looking a little bit red, uh, it is because I just had a sneezing fit just before coming live. And that's always what you want, isn't it? Just before you come live is to have a sneezing fit. So hopefully I won't have another one today while we are in the middle of our training. Um, Say hi to me if you are coming on and watching the training live at the moment. I'm just busy setting up um, to check to see that I can see who's watching me. Hello, Katie Jane. Hello, Parme. Lovely to have you joining me this morning. So if you don't know what I'm doing coming live in Business Women Rising Above this morning, what I'm doing is I'm coming to, this is a regular Tuesday morning training our business growth insights training that I come here every single Tuesday morning to talk you through the three pillars that I teach on all kinds of different topics the three pillars are mindset motivation and marketing today we are looking at the pillar of mindset and what I want to share with you <clears throat> is on the topic of forming genuine connections this is such a powerful topic, particularly at the moment, right? Um, and, and particularly when it comes to building a business and meeting different people and new people in business, right? I don't know about you, but if you have noticed something in the last couple of years in particular is that the days of, you know, going to a networking event and throwing a business card at someone and you know, maybe hoping that they'll contact you or saying, oh, you know, let's catch up. Those days are gone. Who, who can, who, who resonates with that, right? Pardon me. I know that I don't have any business cards anymore. I just don't use them because I just don't find them um, useful at all. But I know that many people, you know, are, are just not finding that this is a useful way anymore to make connections. And I think that. You know, if there's anything that we've all learnt in the last few years in particular, right, is that real people want real connections, true, genuine connections, which is what we're here to talk about today, right? And it's not, it's not about like, you know, saying to them, you know, oh, hi, this is what I do, work with me. It's so much less about that. Good morning, beautiful Lucia. Lovely to have you joining me this morning. I hope your holiday is going well. Um, it's, it's less about, you know, come work with me. And it's more about, it should be more about, I want to get to know you, you know, making these genuine connections. And there's a bit of irony too, <laughs> right? So what I'm, what I'm noticing is that it's ironic because the online world has, in a sense, it's both opened up a world of, you know, so many new new connections to all of us all, all over the world, right? On the other side of that, in some ways or in many ways, it's also closed us off, right? And this might not make sense to some people, but I'm going to explain this a little bit as we go through this morning. Um, if you're if you're watching the replay pop hashtag replay and and let me know as I go through this morning if you can relate to to any of the things that I'm talking about I'm really curious to know so let's talk about the power of human connection it is such a damn powerful thing right what is why why do we need human connection why is it so important well the first thing that comes to my mind personally is that for me, it has become absolutely intrinsically clear that human connection is great for our mental health and our well-being, right? For me, uh, it became, most of you know my story, you know I left my workplace five years ago, it was very toxic by, uh, you know, PTSD, anxiety, depression, not going to go through the whole thing again. But it was a very um, trying time for me. and. The one thing, the one thing that got me through that time was human connection, right? I both missed the human connection from people that I'd had it with daily, but what, what really got me through was my friends, was the human connection of people checking up on me, you know, um, just looking after me. 
right? So it was so good for, for my mental health and well-being, and I see this in so many people, is that we, we need human connection. We are social beings, right? Humans are physical beings. We're social beings. We have been created to be social, right? No one, I, I, don't, I, I don't believe anyone is, is meant to be alone. We're made for connections. We're made to connect with each other. And it's so important that, that we, we see the importance of that in each other as well. And again, like I said, you know, this, this internet world has both opened up connect, the, the way to connect from afar, but it's also almost closed us off from making connections in reality almost. And um, how do I want to put that? Yeah, I, I'm going to talk through some of that this morning. <laughs> Trust me, it'll all become clear. Um, also, human can, like who doesn't want all these things, right? <laughs> we want to feel valued. We want and we need to feel loved. We want to feel wanted, right? And and we want to be trusted. We want people to trust us, right? So we all want these things. And and I haven't met one person who doesn't desire these particular things. I love that we met online and now have connected from afar. Also face to face, exactly, Lucia, exactly. I oh, know it is very special, isn't it? Can't wait to do it again. <laughs> so there is such a power in human connection. Let's take it, let's now put it in the context of business, right? So yes, there are networking opportunities. And as I said before, you know, there, there were the old days when you would go to a networking event and, um, you know, you would take your pile of business cards and you would kind of go around and hand out your business cards, you know, hi, this is me, this is what I do. You'd give your elevator pitch, which is nothing wrong with that, <laughs> right? But honestly, these days, I believe that we can make connections in business that are so much more than that if we are open to make connections. Like beautiful Lucia, you know, like, like she said, we have met online, we have made a genuine connection. Like we, she's one of my besties, <laughs> right? And this, is, this was literally through, through networking. Connection in business creates trust, right? Part of business is getting people to trust you. We've all heard it before, the no like and trust factor, right? So part of business is creating these connections to get people to trust you before, way before they even think about buying from you or working with you. Doesn't matter what, you know, whether you're selling products, whether you're uh, providing a service, either or, right? Connection creates trust and that is a big big thing at the moment helping rather than selling right you, you've heard me talk about this a, a lot you know that that less salesy mindset um <clears throat> something that i find very helpful useful for myself is that i take when i'm connecting with someone and it doesn't matter whether it's a connection um, through like a, a messenger chat or, or you know whether it's a I'm talking to them on zoom whether it's an email what, however I'm or in person right however I'm connecting with these people what I personally do is I take the thought of making money out of it right I'm not there and you know because like I said less salesy mindset I'm not there to make a sale I'm there to to help someone out with their problem right this is something that in the heart and soul business academy I talk with my my clients we, we really learn you know how how and why why they're in business why they're and how they're helping people so you know taking taking away that that you know I'm in it to make a sale kind of thought um, and it's almost like a subconscious thought so taking it and going okay how can I help this person Right, especially, especially when you might be on on a call with someone, when you might be, or you might be talking to them in person about possibly working with you. So, <clears throat> my suggestion: relationships before everything. Absolutely, Lucia. My suggestion to you is is to show you know if if you're not already, and I'm sure most of you do, uh, <laughs> is is show genuine interest in that person, right? 
And when you do that, the rest follows. Oh, <laughs> who wants, to, I don't know, tell me, do, do, who likes feeling like a number? I don't, not me. Hand, thumbs down to feeling like a number, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So when we make genuine connections with people, we, we feel, um, you know, less like a number. And it, and it keeps coming back to the, that, the fact that people want to work with people right not these 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 huge big corporations you hate feeling like a number if Lucia, yeah, i know me too this takes me actually takes me back to the days when i used to have to deal with centrelink that made me feel like a number didn't like it Di oh so glad i don't anymore very lucky that i don't um but you know people want to work with real people and i'm seeing that more and more and also what I'm seeing is, is that people are seeking out small businesses, right? They're seeking out to work with, with these small businesses, with these micro businesses, with people who work from home because they would rather receive more, more uh, what targeted assistance or more heartfelt assistance rather than from a large corporation who's just going to say like, Okay, here's my stuff, buy it and see you later. <laughs> right? This is this is why I call the Heart and Soul Business Academy what I call it, because you know, I help um, people to to help their clients and, and their um, you know, their clients and their I don't even know what the word is. I've lost my words. I'm getting so excited I'm losing my words. <laughs> but I help them to to help their their clients from a heartfelt um perspective rather than treating people like a number and that's something that i personally 100 percent aim to do i would be devastated if one of my clients came to me and said that they felt like a number i want to treat every single one of my clients like like a person right and so this is genuine connection in business <clears throat> and lastly you never know what it might lead to Case in point, I have deliberately <clears throat> put a picture of my business coach right there, right? This is the beautiful Francesca Moy. And I have the utmost respect for this lady right here. You know, when um, I think most of, a lot of you have probably heard the story before. So it was right before the, the whole world shut down in 2020. I met this lady at a, at a workshop that she was running had absolutely no intention <laughs> of signing up with her uh, as one of her clients. But right from the minute that our eyes met, <clears throat> um, she we, were, we had a genuine connection, right? And she, I never felt like that, that she was just selling to me for the sake of getting, of grabbing my money, right? And so when I say it's amazing what it can lead to, <laughs> right? I've now worked with this lady for over two years and I've certified as one of her coaches, right? So I'm a certified business coach with the Mafia. Um, I've been lucky enough to, to do some work for her in her business and had some incredible opportunities to be able to see and learn parts of the back end of her business. This is the million dollar plus business, right? And and this is me just, this is her creating genuine connection with me. You know, I, I, I will always, <clears throat> I will forever be grateful for this lady here because of that genuine connection that we've created for each other. Honestly, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have a business. <laughs> and I've learned a lot and now I can take what, what I've learned from her and other, other places that I've learned from and now I can take that and help my own clients. So these genuine connection in businesses you know this is a big case in point is you never know what they might lead to it can be absolutely incredible good morning sam i didn't know i just saw that you joined us lovely hello <coughs> oh oh i just had a you'd laugh ladies i had a sneezing fit just before i came on to do my live it was perfect timing <laughs> i don't think i've recovered from it yet okie dokie let's talk about some difficulties we have in, in uh, making connections. Let, let's just put it out there, right? 
So <clears throat> sometimes we can have the difficulty as in like we're not connected um, with ourselves first. And when I say this, um, I talk about, um, you know, during the pandemic, I think when it first happened, <clears throat> frog in the throat, absolutely. Uh, when the pandemic first happened, we all kind of relished the opportunity to have some time out, some time to ourselves, right? Work out what was important to us, et cetera, et cetera. And while not a bad thing to begin with, <laughs> many of us lost connections with ourselves after a while. I know I did. Why? I don't know. I just did. Because I, I don't know why. I, I can't give you a because. <clears throat> but what I'm seeing is that a lot of people have been feeling this way lately and there's almost like a, a scarcity to get back into the real world right and you know when and I'm going to talk very personally here um, when I realized that I'd kind of lost touch with myself a little bit when you know the world's now starting to open up or it has been opened up for a little while <clears throat> this whole thing of me losing connection with myself has actually led me to being to be scared to re-enter the real world right um once i was able to <clears throat> and i will refer to a very real and raw post that i put up i don't know about two or three weeks ago now and it was all about me feeling lonely and how you know i um i've lost connection with a lot of people in my life personally here in Adelaide and the fact that a lot of it was my own doing right and it was because of this scarcity and it was really it was really bizarre that all of a sudden you know it was it, this difficulty and this scarcity of needing of wanting to re-enter the world but almost having like an anxiety to do it when I posted this I was shocked absolutely shocked at the level of people who at the number of people who replied to that post and said I know how you feel I was genuinely gobsmacked because I was like oh I thought it was just me I thought I was being weird and the amount of people that said I understand how you feel that's me as well I was like oh my god okay so there's something in that so this is this is actually in fact why I wanted to come on and talk about this topic because I know that it is so important for us all to have that these, these really true genuine connections in our lives and in our business as well. <clears throat> On the opposite side of that, right? So we can have a scarcity to get back into the real world. Um, we, we can also tell ourselves that we're too busy. And, you know, let's get real. I've done this. I've made excuses to avoid making connections <laughs> no no I'm too busy no I'm working in my business I can't you know we tell ourselves um, I've got so much going on I don't have time to get out there and, and meet people or go to have a coffee with a friend or whatever right and even to the point where we we often tell ourselves that we don't need other people we can say it's okay to work at home alone we don't need other people. We can do it by ourselves. Now, <clears throat> I work at home alone, right? My kids don't live here anymore. My partner goes off to work. I don't have any pets, right? So I am literally here all day alone. So I'm, I've come to the personal conclusion that that's not always a good thing. People might think it's a good thing, but it's not always a good thing, particularly me as um, someone who gets energy from people. It's not always a good thing. So it is, it is a, a difficulty in business. Um, and again, on the other side of that, we can become so desperate for connection. And I've done this as well. We can become so desperate for connection um, that when, when someone, anyone reaches out to us, we grab at the attention. And it's like, yes, yes, I, yeah, yes, you know, which um, you know, whether it's good or whether it's bad attention. And I've done that too, right? Um, there have been uh, 
happened several times when people with all good intentions have um, kind of connected, we've connected with each other and we've spoken with the possibility of either working together or doing something together or collaborating. And, you know, from my point of view, and I'm not going to speak for them, I'm going to speak for me, it's been like, oh, yes, that's awesome, that's good. But it hasn't been necessarily because I align with them, right? It's been because I wanted the connection. Does that make sense? It's kind of, I know what I'm trying to say. And I and in the long run, because these, you know, it was because the, the alignment wasn't quite right, um, I didn't end up, we didn't end up going along with these collaborations, right? Don't get me wrong, I'm still very good friends with many of these people who that's happened for, <laughs> who I've met in that way, which is awesome. So in the long run, yes, have I created new connections? Absolutely. Still friends? Absolutely. But the reason that we connected wasn't quite aligning. Oh, we forget we don't listen to each other. We we can because sometimes, you know, we've been alone for so long. We we forget how to listen. And we often become focused on ourselves and our own problems, right? And I say this again as someone who's done it that we forget about other people and it's it, it sounds very harsh to say that but you know <clears throat> sometimes we do sometimes we can you know be so focused on ourselves that we forget to to just open up our ears and listen to other people which is so important listening skills are so important in business in life but in business as well Oh, hello, beautiful Claire. Look, you're all joining me, all my girls today. <laughs> so let's talk about making ge these genuine connections. Let's talk through it, right? Let's talk through it. So be open to new people. Be open to new ideas, right? Don't um, shut yourself off. You never know what you're going to learn from, from new people and new ideas. It's actually really fun when you when you kind of open open yourself up right and this is where again the listening comes into it <laughs> open yourself up to new people new ideas um, be authentic being authentic is huge right again people don't want um, this is in life in general just be you you don't need to be anyone you're not I've tried I've tried to be someone that I'm not and it hasn't worked you know, when I come on here <laughs> and when I cough and splutter and sneeze and all sorts when I'm doing a live, you know, that's just me being authentic. Um, it's just me being me. Um, if we make mistakes, if we um and ah through our ways through a live, who cares? Just be authentic. Just be you, right? <clears throat> be comfortable. Be comfortable to be vulnerable. Now, this takes me back. <coughs> to this post that I put up a couple of weeks ago. I was strongly pushed, I think, by the universe <laughs> to post this particular post. <clears throat> and, you know, like I say, I was genuinely shocked at the level of interaction I got from that, from my vulnerability. I was, I was dead set scared. I was scared to post it, but I knew that I had to. I was just being pushed to do it. But through that, <clears throat> through that vulnerability, I have actually made, just last week, a new connection out of it. And I no doubt there'll be more connections to come out of it through that vulnerability. Not only that, but I've been able to help more people through that vulnerability. And I think that's a lot of the reason why I was pushed to put, to put that post up and be that vulnerable is because it wasn't just me that needed to do it, it was other people that needed to hear it. So be comfortable to be vulnerable to a point that's, that's, that's you know, comfortable for you. Does it, like, it doesn't mean you need to do air, air all your dirty laundry, <laughs> that's fine. But be comfortable enough to be vulnerable to a point that you are okay with. Show your interest in people. I think that says it all, doesn't it, <laughs> right? And let me give you an example um, about 
what not to do here. Like I, um, this was a, quite a while ago now, this is before pandemic days, um, when I was actually at a networking event and there was a particular lady who walked in and she had, a, she had her handful of business cards and I watched her and she literally just went up to everybody and she said, hi, my name's Julie, whatever her name was, I can't remember what her name was. Hi, my name's Julie, this is what I do, here's my business card, see you later, right? So she would literally, um, this is my name, here's my business card, this is what I do, and she'd throw a business card at you, she wouldn't even wait for you to really um, <laughs> reply, and then she'd be on to the next one, because she had a mission in her mind that she wanted to connect with every single person in that room, and there was probably about 50 people in the room, right? And so she was introducing herself, but she wasn't stopping to have a conversation with any of us. And, you know, she wasn't showing interest in us at all. So she was, you know, while she, she kind of had the right idea to get herself known in that space, she was actually getting herself known for all the wrong reasons. Whereas if she had stopped, rather than throwing her business card, you know, handing us her business card, if, she's, if she had come up and had a genuine, authentic conversation with us, it would have been so much better for her and her business, right? And do I know what she's doing now? No, I, I don't. I have no clue. <laughs> but, um, you know, again, it's a learning curve for us all, isn't it? You know, um, have, have who, who has done that? Right? Who has, in the days of going out to these network events, thrown your business card to see what sticks? I have. Absolutely, I have. And did it work for me? No, nope. <laughs> not one bit. So show your genuine, your interest in people. This is another one that <laughs> that I have I have had to learn. Right? This is really an interesting one. Um, oh my God, I didn't just realize what the time was, but I've had to learn to take the compliments. So recently, um, just quickly, I was um, nominated for an award, which was awesome. I didn't want to nominate myself for this award. I didn't win it, but it came to, you know, when I, when I was nominated, I was on stage, I was congratulated for my efforts and I found it hard to take the compliments. And I had someone call me afterwards. She said, Ali, look at what you've achieved. You know, be, um, allow yourself to see <laughs> the great work that you're doing. And sometimes I think when people tell us that we're doing a good job, we find it hard to take the compliment because we don't actually believe them. But when you do take the compliment, right, you can, it, it almost opens, it opens up a whole new level for you to then go back out and continue to make new genuine connections. So let's quickly talk through making business connections. And I'm going to go through these really quickly because I just realized what the time was. I've been talking a lot this morning. Um, speak, be authentic, just be you, right? <laughs> people want real people in business just as they do in life. Don't force things. <laughs> if they're going to happen, they're going to happen. Don't, you know, a lot of people, you know, this is the, the force things is like the, the please buy my stuff mentality. Don't force things. Almost like that lady was doing with her business cards. Um, strive to be of service to others rather than make a sale to them, right? And speak with, don't sell. You will, you will hear me say a lot of the time, and I say this, to, you know, we go through, there's a whole module or two on making sales in the Heart and Soul Business Academy, and it's how to, to speak with your potential clients and customers rather than go in um, with a salesy mindset and, and sell to them, right? So speak with people. Don't just go into sell, especially when you're in business. This is why forming genuine connections is should be, it should be the heart of your business. Heart and soul, get it? <laughs> get it? It all works. <laughs> so in that, ladies, if you know, if if you're if you you're watching all this, you go, yeah, okay, I'm with you. I totally get you. I think I need to form new connections. I would love to um, be able to, you know, find out how 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 to do it in a way that's not salesy, let's have a chat, right? Let's connect. Um, you know, you can, we'll have what I call a business booster call 
And this is where in this call, you know, we will definitely talk about where you're at now, right? We'll gain clarity of where you're at and why you might be in that place at the moment. Um, we'll, we'll, give, we'll have a little mini sales funnel audit and I will give you some actionable advice that you can actually take away and implement into your business straight away. Um, the, the amount of ladies, uh, and I think pretty much of all of them who I've had these calls with have, have gone away and said, I put into action what you told me to do and oh my God, I can't believe it's working, right? So this is what you get in this call alone. And yes, you know, if you would like to, I'll tell you more about the Heart and Soul Business Academy in itself. So if you would like to have a chat in one of these calls, um, just put chat, chat in the comments and we will be in touch. We'll make a mutual time where we can talk with each other about where your business is at and how I might be able to help you. And we will have a genuine connection, my beautiful ladies, which I just love to do. You know, if there's, if there's one thing that I really have thoroughly enjoyed over the last couple of years as my business has grown, it is actually making and forming these genuine connections. Like, you know, um, like I said with Lucia, you know, we met online two years ago. We've now met in person. Um, she's one of my best mates <laughs> and we align with, with each other in business and so well and we support each other all the time. So it can happen in so many different ways for you. So again, if you would like to have a chat, put the word chat in the, biz, in the comments and we'll be in touch with you. We'll make a mutual time to speak with you and your business and how I might be able to help you, my beautiful ladies. All right. That's it for today's business growth, business growth insights training. <laughs> and I will see you on Thursday where we have our uh, member spotlight interview. So I'm looking forward to interviewing another beautiful lady within the group about her business. This week we have the wonderful Phoebe Dre coming in to speak with us. So I will see you then. All right, my beautiful ladies, chat in the comments if you want to um, book a call with me. All right. Have a good week, everyone. See you later.